What up everyone, Reege here for Animal Wire, and if you're fond of those fingers and toes you got there, please keep them inside the cage. Cause one of the world's biggest gray whites is about to pull up on ya. Her name's Deep Blue and she has a total length estimated somewhere in the vicinity of 20 feet. That's right on par with any of the sizable monsters ever recorded in the past. Just check out the way she downplays this 22 foot boat. It's incredible, but what's even more so is her weight. That rotundness you're sensing is the consequence of her being heavily pregnant, and she may be carrying as many as 10 or more developing embryos inside. Now while chances to study gravid specimens such as this one haven't been too plentiful, we can try and draw some comparisons to a similar sized female caught back in 2004. This Hulk and Mama was just a foot or so shy and has that same distending belly. So is it any surprise she was carrying four pups? Not so much, but the fact they were all four and a half feet and each weighed around 65 pounds is pretty crazy, and also gives some insight into how big they grow to at full term, as these suckers are live birthed and must be good to go when they hit the water. Think of all the pampering and nurturing us human babies need. It makes me sick. But enough on that, let's get back to Mrs. Blue. It's believed sharks like her come out to the waters here around Guadalupe Island to feed on seals, which helps them meet the excessive energy demands associated with being pregnant. And by the time her offspring are ready to be delivered, she will have completed an 18 month cycle. Now all things considered, that's a pretty long gestation period, and when you couple that with the fact that great whites don't even begin reproducing until around the age of 30, you start to understand how sensitive their populations can be to overfishing, and thus require a very long time to rebuild. So when shark expert Mauricio Hoyos first laid eyes on Deep Blue, he described a feeling of hope, as he believes the existence of a shark of this size and this age must be an indicator that the collective efforts to protect the species in the area are indeed working. I like to think it's hope too rather than luck, so every year she makes an appearance is a good year in my book. Rah, that got sentimental fast. And once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.